Okay, y'all, it is dark. About 15 to midnight. I come out here just to let y'all listen to the sounds. The air is nice and cool and show you these big old acorns. This is a bur oak tree. Some of the other bur oaks had the smaller acorns, but look how big those are. I think I showed you I do crafts with them, kind of shining the light on the ground. Look at that. I'm just going to show you guys the lace wings, but the wind has them kind of stirred up tonight, so they're not really... They're hard to catch. I just love the sounds of the country. I guess the wind's got that light flipped on. Darn it, I was going to show y'all. Oh, there goes a lace wing. Oh, you can't see her now. Those things are amazing. Darn it. At least the light shining down on the grass. And since we are kind of in drought mode, you can really see if there were snakes. I say that, but then they're kind of brown. There's a full moon up there. Pretty stars. I'm not real sure if the GoPro will pick that up. Gotta sit y'all down for a second. There is a dragonfly on the porch. Just listen to the pretty sounds of nature. Enjoy.
we will. Sometimes we get these big old dragonflies or butterflies or things still fly in on the enclosed porch. And we have to kind of catch them and get them out of there so that they don't get too hot. Always have to check them too for ladybugs. Just look how pretty it is out here. I was gonna show you the dragonfly. It was huge. It wasn't a black one, it was like a light green one. Oh look. Right there. And that leaf is a leaf. See it? There it goes. Those things are amazing. And my husband and I, we just laid in the hammocks yesterday for a little bit. Just relaxed. It was so nice. I'd share this with you because it's so relaxing to me. Can't really get this in the city, can you? I mean, you can kind of hear we're probably a mile and a half, maybe two miles from I-35. Ever since the wildfire and all those trees burned, you can really hear I-35 now. This tree is loaded with those giant acorns. clean them up. So I use them for crafts. With the zero turn, you catch a bunch of those on the zero turn, it'll dull that blade, tear the zero turn up, nothing flat. <laughs> Plus they're not fun to step on either. They kind of blend in with the ground and then you step on them and it really hurts. You get like a heel, what they call it, a stone bruise. How relaxing it is. If that sensor light would go out, you could just really see all the pretty 